Guys, it's no secret. Dragons and Dragon Riders, the most powerful combination in Clash of Clans today. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys six different ways to destroy Town Hall 14 bases with this combination. All right. It's not just about pairing the dragons with Dragon Riders. It has a lot to do with the supporting spell and what you're going to put inside of that blimp to go ahead and try and get that Town Hall kill or to try and take out a massive chunk of the base. All right. It's really up to you. Our first example is a really clean hit by Bogly Dark look at this beauty right here we got a, two rage spells a grand warden ability and every single troop in the board inside that grand warden ability and look follows it up with perfect spell placement rage for the town hall kill freeze on the sweeper and scatter shot combo right there guys so far this attack is played absolutely perfectly and this one is the most simple of the hydra attacks all right this is just rages and freeze spells just bum rushing your way through the base and he's playing it perfectly right here continue to freeze the queen and that multi-target inferno combo right there oh man that's beautiful queen and a multi-target inferno can do a ton of damage to a group of dragons so by freezing it multiple times he's going to ensure that the dragons can kill off that heavy damage section of the base now look at his heroes man he's still got all three royal abilities on this not only that but look at his pet levels all right i'm guessing this is one of his alternate accounts because his pets are super low level and yet he's still just kind of making a mockery of this this base right here by just overpowering it with the simplest of the hydra attacks and look at this guys this base is already toast and he does not even need his king or queen ability guys our next example is going to be pretty similar but with one small change that's going to make a huge impact all right first of all two zaps were used on the sweeper all right if you gotta get rid of that sweeper uh, by all means it's really worth the two lightning spells to get rid of it but that's not the difference that i'm talking about all right this army is mostly rages and freezes like the last one but look at the clone spell in there and then look at why that is all right grand warden ability is going to catch as many of the troops as possible with the blimp that's going to make sure the blimp makes it all the way to the town hall and watch this clone spell come down right here to make sure that not only the town hall goes down but the single target inferno next to it goes down as well that's going to save so many of your dragons and dragon riders and heroes on the back side of this base as they're trying to come up and deal with that single target inferno all right one clone spell placed so that the loons would spread to that single Single target inferno it's gonna make a massive difference on this base all right look at that royal champion's able to come in on the bottom since that single is gone and get some amazing value clearing the last remaining air defense on that bottom side that way the two dragons dragon rider that are still alive down there are, are doing really nice and healthy right here the uh, spitfire still got some free spells to come down and save the queen and the royal champion coming into this last section of the base all right royal champion has already used her ability queen still has hers the freeze keeps that scatter shot on ice just long enough that our royals and the rest of our remaining air troops are going to be able to get through it all right clone spell to take out some extra value by the town hall other than that it's another standard hydra that just annihilated this base. now guys we're getting away from the standard ones and starting to get into some wild troop combinations right here all right we got the dragons and dragon riders but look at these spells man boggly dark is bringing seven lightning spells and an earthquake all right you just don't see zap quakes that often anymore all right but look at this this is going to be used to beautiful beautiful effect first of all heroes are coming in for a hero dive all right king he's responsible for this top section of the base that's going to also clear the way for the queen to move down and get that town hall now we got the zaps that came in they got rid of a sweeper they got rid of a scatter shot they got rid of I, I don't even remember what was on the other side of that but something else as well all right if you guys are liking this video make sure you hit that like button for the youtube algorithm subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like always use code cwc before you buy anything in game including gold pass it helps out a lot look at this queen with her unicorn she's gonna be able to pop her ability and get that town hall taken out guys that is some massive value right there and that's gonna allow him to not have to bring a blimp he's gonna be able to bring a scatter shot which is gonna come right in here cover up this queen and this air defense damage nicely and i'd expect to see something come out of there that could potentially target and take out the queen sure enough there's a dragon in there that could have taken her out but she goes to the rest of the dragons even better and look at this man this is wild he does not have have a lot of supporting spells since he invested so much in the lightning so if you plan on doing an attack like this you better make sure that you have your plan down perfect and your execution pretty perfect as well all right here we go man we got dragons and riders dragons coming in to this last section of the base and look at this 
He has not even played his Royal Champion yet, guys. At this point, I'm like, dude, I'm pretty sure he's trying to swag his Royal Champion right here. He's got a ton of troops left. I can see it potentially happening, but look at this air defense is doing some big time damage to his dragon, last remaining Dragon Rider right here. He might have to use this Royal Champion after all, man. He was really, I think, really trying to save that Royal Champion and just swag it. He finally drops it in, immediately pops her ability to just take out that last remaining air defense. And you guys, we can already see at this point he's got the triple there's nothing left in this base that can stop that royal champion next up we got my buddy curb stomper coming in on this offset base right here with not one not two but three clone spells all right this is a massive spell investment so if you're going to do it you got to make sure that you're going to be getting plenty of value all right and you already know we're sending the blimp for the town hall we're sending it through the far side of the base that way the grand warden ability first of all can cover your troops as they're coming into a heavy damage section and also your dragon's dragon riders can stay the heck away from the poison spell that that town hall is going to cast if you try and run them right through that town hall half of them are going to die off to the poison spell and you're not going to be getting the triple all right but let's look at what's around this town hall right here dude we got four expos two scatter shots are you kidding me that is a super heavy damage section of the base so i can see perfectly why curb decided hey this is going to be a perfect base to bring a ton of clone spells on i'm going to clone so many loons in that area by the time i'm done with that section of the base there's not going to be anything left so here we go man dragons dragon riders balloons coming in taking out that first multi-target inferno royal champion is responsible for that other multi-target inferno on the left side and finally here comes the blimp it needs to make it to the town hall. He ended up using a pretty early Grand Warden ability. I think he wanted to get the blimp in there a little sooner, but the dragons were moving really fast due to the rage spells. So they're all up in this heavy damage section of the base. Now we see all three of those clone spells come down right there. We've got so many clone loons in there. The town hall is down. The tornado actually keeps the majority of the loons away from the town hall blast. And look at these cloned loons. They are going to annihilate every single defense in the rest of this base. He's going to still have a queen ability not needed he's gonna have a royal champion ability that he just pops just to get rid of the last few defenses guys this base got annihilated by mass clone spells next up we got wabi sabi coming in with a pretty crazy variant first of all he's got five invisibility spells cooked so we see there's gonna be a blizzard used somewhere on this base all right now we could drop it right here and get the town hall and some stuff but look at this compartment right here you get town hall you get multiple air defenses you get several expos you get like all those uh uh, new, new uh, damage builder huts right there. Ton of value if you can get into this compartment. And that's exactly what Wabi Sabi's gonna try and do, all right? We got a queen with the unicorn cutting out one side. We got dragons, loons, and dragon riders on the other side. And we're gonna play it just the same as we would with our other blimps and catch that blimp inside the Grand Warden ability with all of the troops. And we're just really trying to make sure that this blimp makes it to this section. Those spells were a little bit early. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Wabi Sabi actually had loons loons in there as well that ended up uh zooming out was that a clone and invisibility spells dude i just now noticed that that is pretty crazy the loons cloned the super wizards stayed invincible and look at that annihilated that entire back section of the base super creative attack and oh my god there's just not a lot left in this base we got some rocket loons coming in zooming in to finish off this multi-target inferno beautiful call beautiful drop right there to finish off that multi that way we have a dragon rider over there that can still work work on cleaning up some of these defenses and look at this royal champion coming in she has already used her ability but wabi sabi's got an invisibility spell and you can use leftover invisibility spells to keep your royal champion invincible that way she can stay alive and get more of those defenses taken out sure enough that tornado trap's gonna stall her but the invincible the invisibility spell is gonna allow her to not take any damage until that tornado trap's worn out right there and just like that man she Wabi Sabi still got a queen with a unicorn and an ability. Not only that, but every defense is down and the Royal Champion still alive. So we got a crazy triple using the blizzard in a really creative way. Next up, we've got dragons and dragon riders with a very elaborate Sui to start it off. All right. Now, this is an underdeveloped base, and I don't like to include those in videos, but this was such a precision attack that I really I had to just show it anyways. First of all, we got super goblins and loons coming in, clearing out a funnel. That way the 
queen is going to go straight for the town hall all right her number one her only job right here is to take out this town hall and if she grabs a few more defenses along the way cool but the town hall is her one job she doesn't have a unicorn she doesn't need it all she needs is her ability and a clear path just like that the single biggest threat in this base is gone queen's gonna go down that's for sure but you got that value all right one-on-one -on -one trade queen for town hall yes all day every day now we got ice golems coming in with headhunters on this left hand side and that's gonna make short work of these enemy heroes and also just trying to cut out some of the stuff right here man we got an eagle artillery right there we've got uh we got an air defense right there the invisibility spell is going to come down keep the hound off the royal champion so she can get the eagle artillery taken out now look what we've got down right here every single enemy hero in this base is already gone and those enemy heroes are a huge threat to your dragon rider so that is a big big deal town hall also down and we've got a nice little path we got beautiful funneling on the left hand side we have even more massive funneling on the right hand side these dragons and dragon riders might venture out a little bit just to clean up a few of these defenses but after that they're funneling straight into the core of this base and since he didn't have to use a blimp for the town hall he's got a stone slammer in there look at that stone slammer just getting out in front of those troops soaking up those seeking air mines for when that grand warden ability wears off now we get a free spell on this single saving the life of a dragon or dragon rider that single was locked onto right there and another rage spell coming into the back section of this base we got a bunch of loons and a dragon coming out of that stone slammer with full health we got a free spell down on the air defense Defense and expo combo and look at this man there's just not a lot of defenses left all right he just do a really precision attack on this base and as a result man he's got tons of air troops left still alive and, and i think he only brought like four or five dragons and dragon riders each all right and that's all you need i mean if you're taking out all the other value in the base boom no big deal so there you guys go six different ways to use blizzard and this doesn't even include my favorite one so go check out my last two videos if you want to see my current favorite attack to use with dragons and dragon riders guys hope you enjoyed the attacks i'll see you in the next video